This Minecraft character makes whatever comes after change like literally every millisecond. So what happens if you use this for a Minecraft seed? Our single player, create a new world, creative, mobile option, and then this, K, and then, oh, wait, oh, 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 okay, it doesn't work. But no, we're not gonna end here, because I modified Minecraft once more. So, I made it so that Minecraft is able to generate what this seed would actually look like. Here it is, the modified Minecraft. Yeah, it looks really weird because there's no background. Well, that's because it's modified Minecraft, okay? Let's go ahead and create a new world, creative, and I don't need to put anything because the Minecraft automatically generates the K seed. So basically, this world will change its seed value literally every millisecond, or like pretty much whenever a new chunk generates. So every single chunk will have a different seed. All right, are you guys ready? So, here it is. Yep. So this is what happens if Minecraft loads the K seed. So like, basically what happens is uh, every chunk have a different seed value. So this one has like, I don't know, seed 69, and this one has like seed 71. This one has like 2074, and yeah. And I believe I've seen a village generate in this monstrosity. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. No clout. Oh, look what they have here. A Minecraft village. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see how messed up it is. So I believe the village is from one single chunk and it's trying to spread but it is failing miserably. Yeah, so this is what a village would look like if it tries to spread throughout like 69 different biomes. So we have a farmland on top of whatever this is. Hello villager. And from this house to probably like that church we have to go through like four different biomes. <laughs> so jungle, ice biomes, and uh, what is this, like plains, and then we get this house. I don't think they could make a path from here to here. Wait, they did, okay, never mind, okay. Now, let's go ahead and see what the nether would look like. Oh, that's not bad at all. I thought it was gonna be impossible to navigate around, but no, it looks like it's way easier. Let's see what the fortress looks like. So apparently there's a fortress here, but wait, there is, there is, here we go. So the nether fortress looks pretty decent. It looks pretty normal because this is probably generated after the chunks have generated. Now lastly, let's go ahead and see what the end looks like. Nice L bro. So the end is not that extreme compared to the overworld and the nether because the end island is pretty much a constant shape almost every single time. But what about the outer island? Hmm, whoa. Now this is really cool. So these islands have broken up and spread across the map so evenly, it might actually make traveling way easier than before. So lastly, if you guys want to see me modify Minecraft even more, then go and check out this playlist out. But other than that, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.